Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for August the 5th. Today in 1583, Sir Humphrey Gilbert claimed Newfoundland for the English crown, making it the first English colony in the Americas. He is often credited with founding the British Empire. His plan was originally to take investment from Catholics who were interested in having a colony in America where they could worship free of recusancy fines. Gilbert left in June of 1583 with five ships, although one had to turn back because it didn't have enough food and supplies. They reached Newfoundland in July. They had to overcome some local resistance. They took formal possession on August 5th, including 200 leagues to the north and the south for Elizabeth and the English crown. Part of the ceremony was to cut the turf, symbolizing English common law, the transfer of possession of the soil. The locals presented him with a dog. He named her Stella after the North Star. The fleet departed home without making any kind of settlement because they had no supplies. Gilbert was sailing his favorite ship, the HMS Squirrel. He ordered a change of course that was controversial and went against what some of the more senior sailors wanted to do, the ones with more experience. One ship, the Delight, soon ran aground and sank, taking with it most of the supplies. In early September, they ran into huge waves near the Azores, and when his men told him that he should go to the Golden Hind, which was also sailing with them, was much larger, Gilbert said that he would just stay put, thank you very much. He was last sighted on the 9th of September. He was reading a book thought to be Moore's Utopia. The Golden Hind was actually within hailing distance and the crew heard Gilbert cry out, we are as near to heaven by sea as by land, pointing up to the skies to illustrate his point. Around midnight, the lights were extinguished and the crew on the Golden Hind said that the ship had sunk. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com, where there are several episodes on trade and exploration and the early colonies in Elizabethan England.